Okay, in this tutorial we're going to create a, a flashing light using blueprints, or a flickering light rather. Um, so let me just play this. So this is the kind of thing that we're going to create. Uh, we're going to have this randomly generating the intensity of this light at a random time. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so I'm going to go up to um, blueprints first of all, and we're going to open a le level blueprint. I'm just going to delete all of this, so we get a blank slate. So if you've never used blueprints before, um, this is kind of an introductory or a practical introduction to them. Uh, first of all, we can navigate around this area by right-clicking and moving the mouse to pan. We can also use either Alt, right-click, and move the mouse to zoom in and out, or use the roller ball to do the same. To create notes, we can uh, nodes, sorry, uh, we can right-click and we can add certain things like events or um, audio functions etc etc and we'll get a bit more into blueprints um, and creating blueprints as we go through this so the first thing we need is something to trigger off our event um, so we're going to use just right click uh, add event and we can add, if we just go down, one of these. We've got these event begin play, event end play, uh, event ticks, lots of different ones. We're actually going to use the event begin play, which is basically going to uh, trigger off our blueprint as soon as the level starts, as soon as we press play. Let's click on that. And we can also get this by starting to type in event begin. Uh, we don't need to do spaces, it will find it anyway. And there we have our event begin play as well. So two different ways to do that. So that's our starting point. It's our trigger. Um, events are identified in red, color-coded. And functions are in blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into my scene. It's going to click on my light, so I've called this light main. Just rename that. Um, and values are set for this. The important thing about this is it's movable, which will allow us to dynamically um, alter this light. So just make sure we have this selected, because what I need to do is within the blueprint, we need to create a reference to the object or the actor that we're going to use. So with this selected, Back in our blueprint, I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on this create a reference to. So this is reference in our light main. Just click on that. Um, the next thing we need to do is look at what we're doing. So um, we're going to be altering this intensity here. So the intensity is the light brighter and darker. And that's what we're going to be dealing with. So, what I'm going to do is, um, again, I could right-click and start typing in. But I'm going to drag out from the output pin of this object. And because we're using a context-sensitive uh, way of working, this is just going to give me the properties and functions that will work from this particular actor. Uh, note, if I click off this, we have a much longer list. Click on it, and these are all the things that are relevant for this particular object. So I'm going to type in set intensity. could probably also type intensity. And we have this set intensity uh, for our point light component. Just going to click on that. Let's bring these down. There we have our set intensity. So, we need to plug in. So right now this wouldn't do anything, by the way, because uh, we haven't we haven't executed this particular function. And the way we execute this is from our event. So note the uh, icons. So from the output, the execute output of our event, and go into the input execute of our set intensity. 
So what this is going to do is when our level starts playing, it's going to trigger off the set intensity. Now so far we've not really done anything with this. Um, this is just giving it a property of zero. So if we're to play this, let's just compile. So compile just checks everything. If we get a tick, it means that everything's good to go. Let's just go in and press play. And you'll note that we have nothing there. And this is because actually what I've done there is set the intensity of the light to zero, which is effectively switched it off. Stop that. Let's go back in. If we were to set that to a value, say 1000, which is what we had our light set at. Again, compile. So that's just going to switch the light to that particular intensity. But obviously we want a random value here. So, from our new intensity, instead of actually typing a value here, uh, we can input a value into this. So, um, whereas red is denoting events, blue denoting functions or objects, um, green is asking for a float value. Again, we can use the context sensitive. If I drag out from this, it's just going to give this the things that will be relevant to that particular input. And what I'm going to search for is a random node. So I'm going to use this random float in range, which is going to allow us to set a minimum and a maximum value for this light intensity. So we'll have our minimum value at zero, completely off, and we're going to have our maximum value of around 1200. You can always play around with that. Okay. Again, if I was to compile this and go back, this is going to give us a value, but basically what it's going to do is just give a different value every time we start the level again. And this is because we just have our event begin play, triggering this off. So each time we trigger this level, it's going to um, set a random value for our intensity. Obviously, we don't want that. We want more of a, a random cycle on this. So we want this to loop round. So um, there's a couple of ways of doing this. We could use an event ticks. There. Which is basically going to trigger off um, this event every tick, so every um, kind of milliseconds I work in a similar kind of way, um, but that can that can clog up the system. That's used for things like timers perhaps, um, but we don't need to use that for this. Instead, what I'm going to use is a delay. So, right click, I'm going to type in delay. Put this up here for now. Um, so what we need to do is we need to come so we need to link this into the chain of our execution node. We go from one um, one execution node to another. So I'm going to go from the output of this set intensity into the, the delay. And then to make this a cycle, we're going to come out of the completed. So this is basically saying wait for this amount of time. So this is in uh, seconds. So wait for 0.2 seconds. And then re-execute the set intensity function. Just bring this up so you can see that a little better. So this is cycling round. This is a loop now. Okay, so let's compile that. And let's try playing this. So you can see now we've got the cycle on there. This is cycling round every 0.2 seconds. And it's creating a random intensity on the light between a value of 0 and 1200. So, that looks fine. But... Um, the light flickering is a bit too constant right now. I want to create a bit of randomness to the actual time that this is flickering as well. Excuse me, just shut the light. So let's just press escape and let's go back in. So we can use another random floating range, but this time we can plug this into the duration instead. So um, two ways to do this. I could right click and we could type in random. Okay. But if we have one in our scene already, or in our blueprint already, uh, another way to do this, and this works with material nodes as well, is um, with the random function selected, we can click or move the mouse up to where we want this to paste, 
and then we can do a control W and that will just paste make a copy of and paste that selected function or selected node wherever the mouse is so let's set our value so I'm going to set a maximum value of maybe 0 0.3 so again we'll get our minimum range is 0 uh, we'll get our maximum range of 0 0.3 seconds and then let's plug the output of this into the input of our duration Okay, so what this is doing is our level begins playing. We set an intensity which is uh, between a random range of 0 and 1200. We wait for a random value between 0 and 0 0.3 seconds and then we look back into the intensity and again set a random value and this just keeps cycling around for the duration of us playing the level. So let's compile that and go in and let's just press play again so now you can see we have a bit more randomness on this okay stop that now just as a final thing I'm just going to make this a bit neater so what I'm going to do is select all of this and we're going to create a comment for this so I'm just going to press C for comment and let's call this random a light flicker and that just means that uh, we can move this about with an L-level blueprint okay so that's the end of this um, little short tutorial on creating a random flickering light using level blueprints